the killing of the, the Hebrew children, you have to understand it almost as if they're all dead, except for Moses. All the males have been killed except for Moses. There's just one. It's a reduction. There's like this reduction. So think about Noah as well. Like everybody's dead. There's just one. There's this reduction which, which manifests the seed. Right. When you, so it's like the story of Superman is this, is the same story. It's like his whole planet is dead. And now this last one is as if he's gathered into himself all of the nature of what he is. And now he is going to, he's going to recast it. And so I think that that's at least narratively. I know it might cause moral problems to, to people to, to think about it that way, but at least why, narratively, why this would it is, cause a moral problem? I don't know, because people don't like the, the idea that God would just let the, the children of, of, of Egypt die. But that pattern of the, ch the killing of the children is repeated in Scripture and in the story of Christ. Right, right. And in the story of Christ, right, you, right. Have, you have the same image where the that, king kills the, kills the children. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's a strange thing. It's as if there's this concentration. Yeah. And then it, and it's not that God wants that to happen, but that it, God transforms evil into good all the time. That's what God does. He takes the evil. It's not that God wants evil, but that he is constantly covering it with his, with his grace and his glory. And so it's like, this is the worst thing that could happen. Like kill all the children. And then all of a sudden God's like, no, there's one. We're going to replant the seed. And it's good. And so you can't, you can't get rid of it. It's like, it's, it's meaning will return. The law will return. The covenant will return. You can't, you can't get rid of it. Humans have no power to destroy creation.